How are we doing, guys? Hey. Today is Sunday, June 9th, all day. Okay. Uh, it's a early video that we're filming, uh, and it's going to be part three of everything I got on last week, pretty much. Still this one, over. Yeah, this one is sponsored by Cumberland Farms. I just finished uh, mowing, yeah, mowing the grass. Thanks. So uh, I wanted to bang this video out so and drink a hot beverage in 80 degrees yeah i i always doesn't matter if it's 100 degrees out i'll drink hot coffee all day he does yeah but uh i'm gonna show you everything that i got Alrighty. all right that was supposed to go in one video that was going to be an hour plus long that we didn't do <laughs> exactly so okay <clears throat> all right uh first thing oh by the way in this video it's going to be ebay cinema sickness Disney Movie Club, Vinegar Syndrome, McCarty, and that's about it, I think. But first one, this one right here, I got from eBay. I love eBay. Oh, yeah. Uh, People don't know what they got sometimes. Yeah. This movie is pretty much the last Disney 3D that I needed for my collection. Now I have pretty much every single Disney release before all the mergers. Uh, the last movie that they did was Moana. Moana in 3D with a nice lenticular slip. That slip is very in-depth. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. That's one of my favorite slips. This was pretty much the last one they did in 3D, so I want. I, it was the last one I needed. I Every it, time I saw it, I saw it for like 60 bucks or so yeah. or 70 I'm like, just because it's 3D and it has the slip, but... You got and, a good deal? Yeah, on it's mint. It was uh, 15, 15 or 16 bucks. And I was going to pay that for Moana. So it was a, a no brainer. I have the Blu ray for this. So the Blu ray is going to be going up for sale with the slip on my McCarty page. Like I've always said, in the description will be a link to my page. If you see anything you like, uh, shoot me a message that you watch my videos or follow me on Instagram. And I'll give you a better deal than what I have it on there for. So, Moana, first one. Next, this is from Cinema Sickness. Um, on the last Library Purge video update that he made, like I said in the last video, he did. I did a bunch of screenshots looking at all the stuff because some of the pictures I never got. And these, I didn't have them. And... I wanted to scoop them up. They pretty much have the same theme. But I didn't have any of these. And I know there's a, a UK complete series of this. But I don't know if it's Region B or Region A. If anybody knows, comment down below. Because if it's uh, Region Free or, or uh, Region AB, I'll pick it up. But until I know 100%, I don't want to spend 90 bucks on the complete series of this. And... I know you can't watch it. Yeah, because my region free player died a long time ago. But the first one is Goosebumps, The Attack of the Jack o' Lanterns. Didn't have it, and I wanted it. I've seen quite a few of those. They're pretty good for what yeah. they were. I like them. Yeah, the Goosebumps movies are, are pretty cool. This one's Brand New Factory Seal from Walmart, and that is. Not sponsored. Yeah, Goosebumps Monster Blood. Never seen this one. The monsters are coming to get you. But, yeah, cool. Next one. This one, I like the artwork. Uh, Goosebumps. One Day in Horrorland. Has a nice backdrop of an uh, amusement park. That is a nice cover. Yeah, nice colors. I like that one. And it's got the word horror. Oh, yeah. Anything with blood, death, horror. It is up my alley. A nice purple case. Ooh, that this, is cool. Yeah, this is an oldie. This is uh, Goosebumps. Say cheese and die. Didn't have this one, so... Excited to have it. A couple more goosebumps to the collection. So that's everything I got from Cinema Sickness. Uh, next thing, gonna bang out some Disney movie clubs. I needed, I thought I needed one to finish my VIP status. I actually needed two movies to finish my VIP status. So I actually did <coughs> two separate orders. So I can get my VIP status. First order I did 
and they're already pre-opened. Probably already ruined one of the first movies. Uh, but uh, the first one, I never seen this. Marie says she has. When I was a kid, I saw it a long time ago. But, but not, that, not that long time ago. I I've never seen it, so I'll have to watch it. And that is Operation Dumbo Drop. So has a uh, Ray Liotta, Dennis Leary, Danny Glover in it. I never seen it, but. I'm happy to check this one out. Have it in the collection. Next one. I think it's about saving an elephant and such. Uh, yeah. It looks like, yeah. Next one. I actually love this movie. This is a classic. I've seen it. I've also I've, seen I've versions seen it, of it so many times. And probably when my son yeah. takes a nap later on, I'm actually probably going to put this in <laughs> because I want to watch it again. And that's uh, The Parent Trap. This is the remake with Lindsay Lohan... Dennis Quaid and oh, I'm gonna forget her name. That, oh yeah. Uh, that's Liam Nielsen's wife that died in a ski accident. I but her name. yeah, I forgot what her name is. But this, this is a fun movie. Yeah, fun it's watch. a it's a fun watch. I love this movie. I still have to get the the original. That's a Disney Movie Club also. But uh, I that's say her name is Diane. But I don't know. yeah, that is the first one, okay. and then the second Disney movie. Ooh. And the second Disney movie club. No cuts here. It's early, I guess. But I got three titles from them. This one Marie really wanted. CS actually had it for sale. And uh, we missed out on it. So I decided instead of getting a DVD, I'll just get the Blu-ray from Disney Movie Club. And that is The Absent-Minded Professor. I enjoyed this as a kid. It's about a flying car. Yeah. Reminds me of a uh, like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I can't remember if the dog kind of talked or not. Yeah. But. I like flying cars. Yeah. So. Glad to have that in the collection. I'll rewatch that. Yeah. We'll both check it out. Because I've never seen it. Ugh. These. Pretty much this uh, uh, whole one. I haven't seen any of these movies. I've seen the first one though. It's fun. It's fun. But Cheesy this one fun. is. Like Marie said, she's seen it. I haven't. And that is a Goofy movie. And um, this one just was released to uh, Disney Movie Club on Blu-ray. So, like I said, I'm going to scoop it up, add it to the collection, check it out. I think it'll be a fun watch. Something that we can watch while my son's in the room since it's not horror. So, oh. it'll be something good for him to watch. He'll probably get a kick out of a talking dog in a car. I know so. he's coming on too, but come on now. I know. Don't start him that early. Uh, and the next one, as you just saw what I bought, you could probably guess what I bought after that. And that's an extremely goofy movie. I heard this one isn't as good as the first one. But if you buy the first one, you have to buy the second one. So I had to pick that one up and add it to the collection. Down to movie had me intrigued. He, he had also picked it up. Yeah, he, he gave a review on it, so we decided... Check it out. Yeah, check it out. And like I said, for 12 bucks a piece, how can you say no to, to getting those? And that is everything I got from Disney Movie Club. Uh, next package, you want to do yours? Oh, yeah. Okay. I got this in the mail this week. Yep, this is for Marie. I got this on Macari as a gift for her. I've been putting this off for since... March or so. I tried to I tried to make it a, a surprise, but I didn't realize that. This I've been is, watching this thing. Yeah, she goes on, on Macari for the last three weeks and, watching this thing. And then all of a sudden she's like, "Oh, it's sold!" Somebody and she bought it. And she was all bummed out, and I'm like, oh, "I checked it every day." Not, now I gotta tell you. And I said, "Spoiler!" And I sent her a screenshot of the the ad, and it said purchase. And I said, "Just so you know, I bought it." So, you want to show I'm it? I'm still happy about it, but it is for my collection, and if you know what I collect, you know it is. I gotta hold it with two hands. My hands aren't that wide. It is the Bambi Steelbook. Brand and this new. is factory steel. This is the Future Shop Steelbook. This goes for a, a pretty penny. That's why it was on the bottom of my pickup. on eBay. It goes for like I've seen it from eighty to one hundred and twenty bucks oh, okay. for a brand new. Yeah. 
easy. for a brand new factory seal. I've seen 60, but th they were open. I wasn't going to touch it for 75, 80 plus this guy, to leave sealed. There's a guy on Macari. Uh, I can't remember what his name is. But he has a ton of steel books. And he has a lot of like Zavi and a lot of like high end steel books. And they're all brand new factory sealed. And some of them he wants over 100 and something bucks for them. But he had this one. He wanted 55 bucks. I've I tried off for him 40, 45. I even offered him 48 bucks and he wouldn't take it. But he would never counter. But uh I figured I'll just do 50 bucks and he he accepted it. So I got it for 50 bucks with free shipping. That's a good deal. For like I said on eBay it goes for 80 to 100 bucks. So I'm happy to have this one now and it's in Marie's collection. Now we have both uh steel books that Bambi ever released. Hopefully soon um, they'll do a 4K Bambi. I would love a 4K Bambi. And then, uh, we'll have to pre-order the 4 we'll have to, art? yeah, we'll have to pre-order the 4K Bambi. I will pre-order that. The, like, the steel Avengers book, the Blu-ray, the DVD, the Avengers. Target exclusive Digibook, and it'll just be a, a bunch of pre-orders. Oh, that Bambi Digibook right after <clears> this <throat> video, that's going to get bumped to the second shelf and this is going to go on display. Yeah. So happy to have that one in the collection. Yeah. Next thing, I got a box. Thank you. No problem. I got a box from Macari. There was a guy who had a bunch of 3Ds, and um, forgot how much how much he wanted. It was like five. I think it was five for fifty. He wanted, and I said, "Well, there's actually, I think it's six. I said, "I want six titles." I'm like, "Will you just sell me six for fifty? Because they weren't selling." You know what I mean? Some of these, he... He was sitting on them? Yeah. To me, some of them he wanted way too much because he, he it seems like he's not a, a thrifter. He's just a, I go on Best Buy, I go on Amazon and buy them. And, so I, buy had, too, and I pay too much for yeah. what I buy. So he had like Immortals that you can find at Big Lots for five bucks or even yeah, 75 three cents. Three to five bucks. And he paid $17 for it at Best Buy. He's overpaying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I and I told him I said you know some of the titles that you want you want way too much I'm like well, yeah but this is what I paid for it I'm like it doesn't matter what you I'm paid sorry. for it I'm like <laughs> regardless if that's what you paid for it and it's still brand new I'm like you know I told him I'm like you can find I'm like go on this website you, you could see this is what it's going for now I'm like you know if, if, chop around. so some of the titles that he had I needed but I'm like I can get them ch way cheaper. Like fifteen dollars cheaper than yeah. what he wanted, but there was uh, a couple of titles that he, wrong he gave box? me. Yeah, wrong box. It. That's a good box, though. Yeah, it is. But we'll get to that one. But there's a couple of titles that there's he had that he gave me a good me deal. In it. And uh, the first one is X Men: Days of Future Past. This is the Best uh, Buy. Yeah, he bought it at Best Buy, probably full price. And that is uh, the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray with digital. So I'll be selling the digital. I got, like I said, I got this whole box for 50 bucks with free shipping. That's so, brand new, too. Yeah, this is no brand new. I he wanted a lot. He wants to get what he paid for, and it's like, now you can find them cheaper. And I have that on Blu-ray, so my Blu-ray will be going up for sale. This I have on Blu-ray also, so it'll be going <laughs> up for sale. And that is The Nut Job. In 3D with a nice lenticular slip. That's a fun movie. I've seen it. Yeah. Talking so. animals. And this one is brand new factory sealed also, as you can see. Yeah. Try to give it the rub. We wanted to watch them when they came out, so we bought the regular version. Then he went all 3D on our butts. Yeah. So, so now we got to rebuy them. Almost. That has a, a digital code, code also, so that will be uh, sold soon. This movie, not brand new factory seal, but this one is one of the cheaper ones, and he wanted way too much for it. But I talked him down once I showed him, you know, what it's going for online. And he, uh, shockingly, he's a 3D collector like I am. He has, like, double the amount of 3Ds that I have. And uh, he's on uh, a 3D collector Facebook, uh, like, Thing. And he's like, oh, you should join since you're a big 3D collector. I'm like, I don't do Facebook. But, uh, yeah, he was a cool guy once we started talking. 
And uh, but this is Priest, the unrated Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray, all on one disc. Is it all? Is it? Just have to Blu-ray. I like how the artwork pops more on a clear case. I don't know why. I just like the clear cases for Blu-rays. I'll have to find out because it's all on one disc, but it just says 3D. It doesn't say Blu-ray, so I'm not sure if this is just in 3D. I have the Blu-ray of this, so I'm going to have to put this in and see if it's just 3D. If it is, then I'll have to keep my regular Blu-ray edition to this. But if this is uh, 2D also, then my Blu-ray of this will be going up for sale. And it won't make the show. Oh, yeah. This I have for sale on Blu-ray. Not in 3D. Not in 3D, but I have the Blu-ray. This has the digitals, so I'll be selling that. And that is Rampage in 3D. 3D. And this is brand new factory sealed. This one I could see sp paying a little bit for because it goes for a, a good chunk of ch It's like 25 bucks, I think. I online. enjoyed this action movie. It was but good. it was pretty good. And like I said, I want to check it out in 3D. For the giant gorilla? Oh, yeah, the giant gorilla. Or when uh, that other animal, I forgot what it was, like a, a fox or something. When it breaks through uh, the building... And it's going after the rock. Spoiler if anybody's seen it. If nobody's seen it, that's going to look amazing in 3D. So yeah. I really want to check this one out in 3D. That was awesome. But big star, big monsters, big fun. But I, yeah. was, I was entertained. Yeah. Next one. Again, I have it on Blu-ray. So my Blu-ray will be going up for sale for this. And that is In the Heart of the Sea in 3D. This is a great movie about... Um, Moby Dick has uh, Chris Helmsworth, a.k.a. Thor. But it's a great movie. So I'm happy to have that one in 3D. I'll be checking that one out. And that is everything that I got from the guy. I'm not going to throw this box because there's peanuts in it. And I'll make... Dump it. No. Nope. Oops. I guess she's Spoiler. picking up the mess. That's okay. Like P-Max said one time on his live stream, pick those up, woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much my one and a half year old makes? This is nothing. Yeah. And the They're last thing box. that I got is from Vinegar Syndrome. Vinegar Syndrome had, had an a, awesome sale. Yeah, had an awesome sale. It was the first sale of all the crazy sales that happened. So This is the first thing I, I picked up for myself. Yeah. I actually, when I first ordered, I ordered only three titles. And I was like, they weren't gonna ship. They weren't gonna ship it all till the sale was over. So I said I'll pick up three titles that I really want right now, and some of them I wanted to hold off. And then Marie messaged me because she went on on there and she said, "Oh, I want this title. I'm gonna pick this up." And he's so, like, "Well, I, don't know, I just add it to mine." I'm like, so okay. I, yeah, I said I'll just add it to mine, come so we can combine the shipping. So what was good about them is you know you can do a. Uh, uh, add to existing order. So I, I actually added the title she wanted and two other titles. So I have... And if you know what they have, it, it's no bandy. Yeah. So it's seven titles I got from Vinegar Syndrome. Let me take out the packaging. And the first title that I got from them is Graduation Day. This is a, a great movie. It's a great, uh, if I remember, it's an, a great 80s, yeah. It's a great 80s slasher. So, this is a great film. I highly recommend it. There's pretty much nothing in this box that I, I'll tell you right now that I don't recommend. If you're a horror fan, any of these I would say pick up and watch. Because they're all horror classics. So, Graduation Day. It's the first one. I laugh because your box is sitting offset on peanuts. Yeah, because somebody Sorry. had to dump the peanuts. This one, another one. They thought they were alone. Creepy guy with an axe on the cover. Yeah, Mad Men. Uh, again, great movie. I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. I highly recommend you watching it and everybody else that hasn't seen it. But this is a, a great film, so I'm happy to have that one. Next one. Uh, I used to have the VHS for this, if I remember right. And this one is uh, a great film. It's not horror, but it's a great kind of... Um, 
Actually. Like, no, it's like a comedy. Comedy kind of drama. But it, it's, uh, cool. it's, a, it's a good film. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying, I think it's a David Bernard film, it says. Hmm. But it's My Chauffeur. This is a great film. Like I said, I highly recommend it. If you like, um... Uh, pina coladas. Yeah, if you like pina coladas. <laughs> Sorry, you know. it was right there. Yeah, if you like films like uh, Valley Girl. Um, I haven't seen it. Oh, I'm trying to remember My Tutor. It's it's oh, I've seen it's that one. it's very similar to like My Tutor. If you like that film, you'll like uh, My I'll Chauffeur. Watch it. So, like I said, it's a a great '80s film. This film, I love this film. Um, Nope, I haven't seen it. When uh, CS was selling off his CEDs, it was one of the first CEDs that he showed. And uh, I think he has the laser disc in his display cabinet. But I love this film. I simply love it. I haven't seen this movie since I was a kid. It's got the face of the exorcist on there. Jeez. But it's a, a great film. I highly recommend this one. That's Mausoleum. When this came out, it came with a nice slipcover, but... Slipcover is already out of print. So. I'll add it to the checkout list. So I, this was a, a must grab. I wanted to grab this one. Like I said, with their 50% off sale, you know, a lot of their titles usually, because they're a boutique title, they're pretty pricey. But pretty much all those titles, some of those I got for only $7.99. Some of them were like $10.99. And, and then these... The one I wanted. And the, the last three were... Pretty much forty dollar titles, but they had them for twenty. I think they were twenty eight bucks a piece, almost twenty nine dollars. They were twenty nine bucks a piece, just because of um, the slips and the slip yeah, boxes. The slips and the slip boxes. So the first one is Mountaintop Massacre. I had this on VHS a long time ago. It's a great movie. Um, Eighty eight films actually released this. And I was going to pick it up through them, but it was Region B. So, again, I don't have a Region 3 player, so I couldn't pick it up from 88 Films. But this is a beautiful slipcover. I'm not sure if you could see it, but it has some really nice glossy glossy spots in it. Spots, yeah. Here's uh, the back. As you can see, same thing. has a lot, of, a lot of nice glossy spots. The sides, where the name is, is all embossed. The whole side. So, yeah, both sides are super embossed. And <coughs> let me pull. It's a tight slip because of the shrink wrap. This is the... Oh, that's cool. I think this has um, double-sided artwork. I'm not 100%, but it's, that's the artwork that they're showing. That's a, a, a newer artwork. And then this is the back. If anybody's curious. You can pause it right there and check it out. But... Oh, yeah. They're movies. You know, some people say it's like Screen Factory does the best releases, as in movies. But to me, the Screen Factory slipcovers and their packaging. They slip on the, the yeah, detail. Yeah, they skimp on all the details. Vinegar Syndrome does not skimp on the details. but They don't slip on their slips. But uh, they're more obscure huh. horror. So... You know, if, you, if you're a real, I mean, like a true horror fan, they have some really great titles, and they have some of the best out there when it Didn't comes to... Didn't they do Better Watch Out with a Neat Slippy? No. That was somebody else. That was a good one, though. Yeah, that was a nice slip, but... I like that one. That's uh, Mountaintop Massacre. Next one. This one I wanted. This one comes in a nice box. It's not a slip cover. The actual box... The top of it is a hard box. And this one is limited... To 1,000. No, right there. 1,500? No, nope, limited edition of... Edition of 2,500. And you have number 1,060. Yeah. So it says 2,000. Let's see if I can zoom in. I'd make you send it back if it was 1,666. But that's the limited right there. And this is Evil Town. It's, uh, like I said, I've never seen this film... But that box alone, and because it was a limited box, here's the back artwork. He's going to sell out real quick. Yeah, it was going to sell out quick. And like I said, you just pull it out. It has a little tab right here so you can grab it. But the box, <laughs> it's like the arrow boxes. 
this is a, a stiff it's a box it has it's a really nice quality finish yeah right here it's all glossy the name and then it has like a nice matte to it but it's very sturdy that is the front artwork for evil town and then here's the back artwork if you want to pause it and check it out but i was super excited about this one and uh like i said the this one i really wanted just because of that the limited number box and because it actually has the number on it that's even cool that is neat and then the one that marie wanted i actually wanted this and i was gonna put it on the second order but it started selling out quick and i think this box this box was limited to 1500 and um I'm glad that she wanted it when she did because if I would have waited, I would have missed out on it. But this is Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. Yeah. I've I've wanted this movie for a while. I, again, I used to have a VHS back in the day. But this is a, a nice, has, you know, a little bit of embossing, but not much. Has a nice feel to it. You know, the artwork, the, the writing and everything is super nice. It's the back of, of the box. Guess good movie to check out oh yeah it is a great movie i highly recommend that but what's cool about this one is oh, yeah. wait for it the box opens up from the middle as you can see and then uh there you go it's like he comes in yeah let me just and, cover up my face here and there's the artwork right there but it's cool you can see all the blood and it looks like like pieces of meat mm -hmm. in red but that's really cool how they did that I like that it's the first one in my collection like that but it's Slaughterhouse they already had this release and like I said for this sale they decided to make a, a cool box for it that's why I wanted it because we didn't have anything like that yet. yeah so and then that's the back right there if you want to pause it and check it out but this movie it's a, a great film I highly recommend this one but let me put this back together. Yeah, I was excited about that one. Yeah. Marie, like I said, Marie, when uh, she saw this, she was super excited about it. I can't see it. putting that next to Bambi on display. I no. just can't do it. But <laughs> that is everything that we got this week. Pretty much took three videos for it. Like I said, I still have stuff coming from Kino Lobber from their sale. You got another little stack over there. Yeah, I have a, another little stack already for... Of at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 plus. Okay. Yeah, about 12 things already, and it's Sunday. <laughs> Week is just starting. I already got 12 things, and I got some stuff from Savers. And uh, like I said, I still got stuff from Kino coming this week. I got my Severance film. that I got like 12 titles from Severn film, but that ain't coming until the end of the month. We were just because, very happy to uh, have the Vinegar Syndrome. If yeah. you picked up any titles from Vinegar, vinegar. Syndrome, yeah. Let us know. Vinegar Syndrome, leave a Down comment. Down in the comments below. And uh, like I said, I still got a bunch of stuff. I got stuff from Zabby coming also from the UK. Hoarding up? Oh, yeah. Hoarding up, to say the least. But, uh, yeah, we'll give you a couple. A slaughterhouse. And your Bambi right on the bottom. Sweet. Bye. I think my mouth was open for about 10 seconds when he sent yeah. me the picture. That is everything from my pile right there. Some Goosebumps, Disney Movie Clubs, a Moana 3D. I just couldn't see picking up that Bambi. So I waited since like March. But, yeah, that's Marie's pile. But I'll turn around and buy like two 3D movies for almost $20 a piece. And that's like yeah. more than halfway to Bambi. But that is everything that we got this week. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. Thanks. If you didn't like it, how can you not? Then? Yeah, if if you yeah, you know, with three D's horror and Disney, you know, how can you not like it? But you know, maybe just our faces piss you off. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm sorry. They find us entertaining. Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, if you picked up anything from the sale, you know, let us know down in the comments. I'm always curious. Um, what people picked up and until next time guys Bye. Hey, can I have my coffee? Sure <laughs>